Hello friends, thank you for joining us for today's vegan cooking class. I'm Tony Brown and today I'm bringing you another great pasta dish. I'm making some vegan fettuccine and I'm doing it with spinach, sun-dried tomatoes, and baby portobello mushrooms. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is get our pasta going. I'm using some Berea fettuccine. And for this recipe, I'm gonna use about three-fourths of that, okay? So I have some water boiling here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw three-fourths of this package into the boiling water. that get started while I work on everything else. Okay, so while the fettuccine boils, I'm gonna go ahead and put some baby bella mushrooms in my skillet. And I have just a little bit of olive oil heating. This is two cups. So I'm gonna wash and slice. I'm gonna let those go for about five minutes. and stir them frequently as you cook, okay? Okay, I've let my mushrooms cook for five minutes on medium heat. Now I'm gonna add in some fresh garlic. Just putting it in my garlic press here and I'm putting in four cloves of fresh garlic. Just put that right into the skillet. Also adding one small shallot and some um, sun-dried tomatoes that I've just rough chopped here. So just as a reminder from a previous video, this is what your shallot looks like. And when I say one small, I mean one small, just like that. And then the sun-dried tomatoes that I use are these California sun-dried tomatoes. I use about half of this jar. It comes packed in oil. But this is what they look like in the pack in the jar. And I just take that and chop it up. So I did half of this jar and this is an 8.5 ounce jar. another five minutes before adding in the rest of my ingredients. All right, so now I'm gonna add in some fresh spinach and this is about three and a half cups of fresh spinach. Um, I noticed that my oil is kind of soaked up here so I'm gonna just drizzle in a little bit more, okay? I don't have my measurements on the oil so I'm sorry. <laughs> so I just wanna throw that spinach in and let it cook until it wilts, okay? And it's gonna wilt fairly quickly.
has wilted to where I want it. So I'm gonna add in some organic vegan uh, yogurt. This is a vegan yogurt alternative. It's Trader Joe's brand. Put about a cup of that in. vegan protein broth. some Trader Joe's dairy-free Parmesan cheese alternative. This is an eight ounce package. I'm gonna add half of this package in, so four ounces. two to three minutes, maybe five, just until the cheese is good and melted. Oh, one thing I forgot here, um, I am gonna add a tablespoon of this consomme soup and seasoning mix. Kind of tastes like uh, chicken broth, but it's suitable for vegetarians and vegans, okay? Add in a tablespoon of that. Right. And at this point, you can also add in any seasonings that you like, salt, pepper. I wouldn't add too much salt though, because that soup and seasoning mix, it is pretty salty. So don't, you know, overdo it on the salt there. pepper, just black pepper, just a tad bit of salt. And then I'm going to add in some garlic powder. And all these seasonings are just to your taste. It doesn't have to be an exact measurement. And then some onion powder. pasta and get that nice and incorporated with the sauce. And just kind of toss it all together until everything is nice and mixed. It smells so good already. I love any type of pasta dish. So I'm always thinking of things I can do with pasta. I'm gonna keep mixing this up and then I'll show you the finished product. Okay, pasta's all done. I'm just gonna sprinkle some fresh parsley all over the top like that. And look at that. Some delicious vegan Alfredo with sun-dried tomatoes, mushrooms, and spinach. I think it's a recipe that you all will enjoy. Bon appetit.